So when AHEC approached the RCA asking us to submit a proposal to design a chair, it took me a while to kind of make the connection, but I realised that a lot of the really nice hardwoods that they had were related to food production in some way or food preparation or they produce fruits or nuts. So I started doing research into how you could maybe translate some food preparation processes onto wood. And the life cycle analysis, to me, I thought that was an interesting link to make to possibly design a chair that would encourage discussion about waste. For the seat of my chair, I have pickled it. So it's been put together with lots of different hardwoods. I've only used hardwoods that are related to food in some way and they've been put together in a kind of dynamic pattern and then I've dipped it and uh, soaked it in a vinegar and galvanised steel solution which when you put galvanised steel into the vinegar it brings, it creates iron oxide and this draws the tannins out of the wood and gives it really beautiful different shades of blue depending on how much tannin there is in each wood. The inspiration for our bench was uh, originally the work of Phila de Barlow who um, she created some sculptures using plywood. She created these really delicate but um, uh, very large um, plywood sculptures where she bent the plywood round and held it together with a single screw. And um, it was that really was the jumping off point for, for our explorations with bending, uh, winding stru structures and uh, bending materials. Uh, we chose uh, tulip wood for our bench, which is a uh, very lightweight, high strength uh, wood, which works perfectly for our applications because we wanted to have something that was portable that could be moved around uh, from site to site. We, we tested it in the studio the other day when we had our final presentation and um, we just pretty much as many people as could stand on it vertically uh, it could take and I yeah. presume some more. We just spent the last sort of three months like really refining the way this goes together on its end grain, this, this tube structure. It's just very strong. Uh, it also takes colour stains really well so it's, uh, it, it gives us an opportunity to play around and experiment a bit. All the grooves like a I mean, we've done them all by hand at the moment, but hopefully we could mechanise a few of these processes if we wanted to make more of them. I have my work exhibited at the V&A, along with a load of other talented people. It's really exciting, um, especially as part of Design Week. Yeah, I feel very privileged to be able to do that, especially after my first year at uni and having never made a chair before, which is meant to be the most complicated thing to make in terms of furniture. So yeah, I'm very excited.